How do you mysterious strangers? Chivalry 2, also known as mental crack cocaine, for the fact that people will supposedly even sell their own butthole just to get in one more match in. If only we knew the scourge of 2021 would have been caused by a video game. But I digress. This virtual realm taking place when humanity was a super fun and safe group of creatures to be around. The story goes that gangs dueled over the blue and red long ago, with more of a British approach to conflict. Trial by fucking sword fighting, but far less use of aggressive sign language. The gangs once unified under just the blue, but after failing what was known as a crusade against the ground mausoleums of the location known as the Holy Land, I, I don't know why they would want to fight over the body dumps either. The so-called usurper Malric Stormcloak of Skyrim decided to make his own country with blackjack and hookers as his hobbies and punching bitches as his fucking policies. And the Anglo-Saxons? They believe that a great mighty house cat, one that is bred from the fucking uranium fields, one day will appear and save the day and would conclude the war with its mighty roar. Or, I, I think that's what they said. So they unified to fight until the very end and until they were all fucking dead. Very relatable. The combat revolves around stacking bodies, holding objectives, and either being a sweaty dork or being a man-child and actually enjoying something in life. I, I've actually had enough experiences, I've begun to use my own lingo and create my own definitions. Such as John Snow's Euphoria, Verb. Doing so dirty nasty in the mists of combat, you only smell screams and see the color red. <laughs> buddy banging, verb. Not to be confused with banging buddies. When combat is so thick, all you can do is tap your friends. Brazilian ping, adverb. When someone from another country or is simply in possession of illegally obtained Starbucks Wi-Fi password information is pinging so goddamn high, it causes the whole fucking server that is simply dedicated to your match to shit where it sleeps, defecate in its own fucking bed. Battlefield medics? Noun. People who revive you in the most complex and situationally strategic of locations. In this game, the tools at your disposal are consistent to the class you play. Play Vanguard. That's it. I, I see. You want more in-depth. So, from the top. Archers, the most disrespected group in the game, yet will always manage to either be Legolas from Lord of the Rings, or Lieutenant Team Killing Fucking Vanguard. The whole class is the epitome of being Chad Thundercock, a Templar warrior with little to no regard for his enemy. He comes packing with Mazel Tov cocktails and a horn that heals his entire faction. I'd mentioned the last class, but it literally is for Assassin's Creed nerds who do nothing and don't want to actually play the game. Fumin, the well-rounded, all-terrain unit that everyone actually sucked at playing. Yet, we're all lucky enough with him that you will inevitably try him again. He comes with long pokey sticks, short pokey sticks, and the last guy who's just a trapper who carries an entire variety bag of Mordow memes. Lastly, the brick shit house that everyone wants to be, yet would in reality be unable to train for months, years, all mindlessly on end, just to catch a crossbow bolt to the neck and die miserably and almost immediately on the field, leaving your long dynasty of incest behind you into the afterlife. He comes packing with axes, large and small, hammers, bats, swords, and shields, flags, and extra hammers. Slower than a camel taking a shit. Not the best for everyone, but if you don't like Vanguard, then you play him. So I guess as far as you may be wondering, what is this clusterfuck of a video about? Well, the question is, are you sure, are you ready to be daisied Xbox editioned again? Cause what I fucking am. Cause with these servers about as stable as Charles Manson during a court hearing, and far more bugs than a shady motel hot mess express bed, 
you best know we're a part of that Crash Course video game history. But, uh, in all seriousness, guys, uh, there's only, like, 19 people on the Thorn Banner dev team. Uh, the fact the game is this fire out the gate is actually a little impressive. Just have some hope, and don't bully the devs into the fucking soil. Let the dreams come true, and so will yours. 10 out of 10. If you don't own it, buy it. Love it. Get into a heated debate about it. With it, or for it. It will pay off in the end. Hey, so uh, a little bit of an author's note here. Uh, if you guys liked this, uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, if you don't like it, don't like it. Uh, and uh, maybe elaborate as to why. Uh, thank you, and till next time.